Hey guys, I uh, hope you're having a good day. I wanted to do a video here to show you how I make a bottle for a reborn. Um, I'm going to show you how to make an infant bottle. Um, infant bottles are different than bottles for older babies. Um, if you're going to make a bottle if you want to make a bottle for an older baby, do everything I show you except for using the yellow food coloring. Um, babe, infant formula has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, so that's why we're going to be using the food coloring. So the supplies you're going to need is, of course, a bottle. Um, I'm using a Sudi, an infant Sudi bottle. You can use any bottle you want. Um, scissors. A Q-tip yellow food coloring, a spoon to mix, water, white fabric softener, any kind you any kind that you can find that's white, but it has to be white. And then I'm using Glide Press and Seal. Um, you can use Saran Wrap. It's a little bit of a cheaper option if you'd like. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by adding in just a little bit of fabric softener and then I'll go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way with what I'm wanting like up to two ounces or, or what have you with water so we'll go ahead and do a three ounce bottle Okay. Just swirl that around a bit. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is take your yellow food coloring and your Q-tip and just get a little bit of food coloring on your Q-tip. And then you're going to want to swash it around just a bit here in the, the mix. probably need just a little bit more. Ooh, it's a lot more. And guys, it's okay if you get too much or too little, you can always adjust. I'm just going to dip a little bit of that out. Now mix. Oops. going to want just a little bit more softener and that's the good thing about it is you know if you get a little bit too much or not enough you can always add or take away and it smells great So now I'm ready to seal my bottle. And you can do this one, one of two ways. You can put a little dab of glue into the nipple and just have it open where you don't have to seal it. But I prefer to seal it. So we'll go ahead and get a little bit of our press and seal. And if you don't have scissors, you can use an X-Acto knife to cut. And if you're a child, please don't try this. Have your parents do the cutting for you and the mixing. Just, just don't do this. Have your parents do it, okay? So I'm going to cut off a little bit of my press and seal. And fit it around the bottle and then press. And then I'm going to press it around the edges really well because we definitely don't want any leaks. And 
then if you're going to use an exacto, you can just take your exacto and go right over, right under the rim right there, and that'll give you a very clean cut. You won't be able to see it. And also, if you want an even more realistic look, like if you know you want it to look like the milk's running down into the nipple when you're feeding the baby, you can also add also add just a little bit of white cotton. Um, like or polyfill um, at the top here and that will give you an appearance of milk and also if you choose the glue option then of course you'll have have it to where the milk um, runs runs down so, and gives you that realistic look and there's you know I'm sure people have other ways of doing it but this is just how I do it Sell. I prefer using an exacto, but my mean old stubborn hus husband has it and won't give it to me. So, I'm just kidding, guys. He's not mean. Okay. Let's just do one last check to make sure it's sealed really well. on the bottom and voila you have an unlickable bottle so you can feed the baby that's it all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Give me a thumbs up, a lot to like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, God bless. Bye-bye.